Hello all, welcome to another World of Tanks video with Max Svensson and yours truly is here on Abbey in his Leuwe tier 8 premium tank. As you can see I'm top tier so we should be able to have some fun. As usual, I will go to the 1 2 line, heavy valley, because I am top tier and I am a heavy. Well, my tank is anyway. I see that this Yak Panzer is not moving and apparently I was not in a very friendly mood so I start bugging him from the beginning of the battle. He doesn't react. But I believe he starts moving after a while anyway. Maybe he's got a slow hard disk and he's not uh, loaded into the game yet, I don't know. Now I start off pretty badly, you'll see what I mean. On my way to the heavy valley, the slower already catches some enemies and decides to take pot shots while standing in an open field. Very smart Svensson. At least I take out that T25 too. But I take way too many hits. The DLCs hitting me and... <laughs> Although that snapshot luckily got in. I've been able to do close to 800 damage, but I've taken 700 damage, so I am pretty much at 50% health at this point, which is not good. But it's an age-old saying in World of Tanks, as long as you've got one health point and your gun is operational, you can kill an entire team. Theoretically. But I've had matches where I was uh, almost dead after one minute and I still ended up doing uh, most of the damage of my team, so it is possible. As long as a gun is in the game, it is dangerous. Well, so long as you're not talking about the MX-40 or the MX-38 or... Uh, Guns like that, of course. <laughs> okay, nobody spotted anymore. The Eggpanzer IV is in position, but he's gonna camp. Somebody has to do it. My team is rolling over the 1 2 line nicely. And I see that the enemy is coming in force over the uh, 8 line. So I decide not to join my compadres on the 1-2 line because they have the uh, upper hand anyway I'm afraid of what's gonna come through the middle there's a T-44 which I could have hit if I had stayed behind but I need to defend the base Jagdpanzer 4 is down and there's all sorts of nasty opponents coming around that corner particularly worried about the IS-3 and the 88 the 87 sorry but the Loa has a legendary precision and is able to hit him in his commander's cupola you'll see what I mean with legendary precision <laughs> I 
He can even bounce shots from IS-3. It's no problem, Lowe. Strong, strong turret. Yes. I should probably say that in German, because it's a German band. Die Lohr ist eine akkurate... Uh, how do you say gun in German? Uh, eine akkurate Pistole, ja. Und sehr starke Turret. <laughs> I'm almost certain that uh, Turret is not Turret in German, but hey. Oh, the Rheinmetall gets knocked out. At least T-44 and KV-1S are coming back, because they've seen the threat to our base, while the rest of the team the vehicle destroyed. continues Ammo on the offense. We're lucky it didn't blow. That was lucky, I almost got Amorak by that stupid T-44, who will get taken out pretty soon. Yep, that's it. I have to repair my ammo rack here because I have now an uh, over 8 seconds reload time. Sorry, that was without the injured, uh, the uh, broken ammo rack. Alright, few more enemies to kill. KV-1S uh, is down, and the AT-7 and the IS-3 are both one-shot kills. I have three kills by now. AT-7 needs to die. I think he has the most capture points by now. I'm a bit worried about those two tanks. Wow, I bounced the IS-3 again. And again in his cupola. Or maybe on the front, I'm not sure. I should check out uh, his corpse. But I don't think I can penetrate the front of that AT-7. Maybe I can. Okay, the IS-3 is hiding behind that corpse. Even without aiming, I mean the lower. Sehr akkurat, sehr, sehr akkurat, ja. He can alles schießen. Well, sometimes. And sometimes you want to drop it from a cloud three miles down into a ravine. Okay, so we've taken back the initiative because it didn't look well at a certain point in time but I'm telling these two KV-1S's to stay together now you can see the KV-1S on E2 is moving ahead I'm telling the other KV-1S to stay at the base in case they uh, come for uh, the cap and I will go with the other KV-1S through the 1-2 line to their base I like to approach the base through the one two line and don't try to shoot at the base from the the little plateau on H2 H3 but instead go all the way around and come onto the base from the from the low ground i find that a much easier approach and you'll get spotted a lot later as you'll see the KV1S takes a position on the small plateau Come on, slower. Move your butt. A whopping 26 kilometers per hour. He can outrun. Panzer 1Cs. Cromwells. T2 lights. It's not a problem. Okay, the KV-1S is in position, he spotted the ISU, and of course the ISU has spotted him, and he dies. At which point I'm getting very nervous. Why did he go up so far? I told these guys to stay together. Oh well.
The other KV-1S commander agrees. And the guy knows it. He says sorry, so no problem. I can live with it. He made a mistake, he thought he would not get spotted, and he did get spotted and taken out. Hey, I can donk out worse than that. So who am I to blame? Somebody else. As you see, I'm not going onto the plateau, but I'll approach it from below. So they get the ISU left. And the Chiha. Yeah, the Chiha was part of a failed platoon. But <laughs> you'll, you'll see the Chiha. He doesn't want to give up. He's gonna try to... Give it to me. Bless his soul. By the way, the Chiha is one of the better uh, tier 3 tanks. I absolutely love it. Oh, there's the ISU. And now I have the upper hand because I've spotted him. And he needs to turn around because he thought I was coming through the plateau too. The Chiha bounces, the ISU bounces, and I can take him out. That I was very lucky that the ISU bounced there. If he had not bounced, I would have died. I probably would have died. And this game could have been lost still. So, <laughs> I, I saw that the uh, shots from the Chiha came from over here. Where he was last spotted. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to stay in cover. <laughs> Uh, well. So let's review the battle results. Not a bad game. Not a great game, but not a bad game. Obviously we have 7 kills. Which gives us the top gun. We also got the defender medal. Steel wall. We took some bounces there. But only a second class mastery batch. Which is understandable for uh, only 2.6k damage. How much damage did we do? Yeah, 2.5. But it goes to show that there are a lot of people doing very well in the Lua. Although the Lua, as a tier 8 premium, has a kind of a bad reputation. There are a lot of bad Lua players, but it seems also great deal of good lower players and it is a fantastic money maker look at that 89,000 credits that's amazing I was firing gold most of the time I believe so it cost me a bit of money to resupply that ammunition but still I'm making a decent profit 38,400 I got just over a thousand base XP with a premium account and my daily double which gives me 3000 XP for my crew actually I was using my Tiger 2 crew in this tank so I think I'm at 182% crew skills so second crew skill at 82% which is not bad. We fired 13, 14 shots, 13 direct hits, so I missed only one, and all of those shots penetrated, which is very nice. Received 11, and I bounced 7, which is also very nice for the Leeuwen. 1400 damage blocked by armor, spotted 1, damaged 8, destroyed 7 of those 8 tanks. Got a bit of spotting or uh, assistant damage. Base defense points for the defender medal. Traveled quite a bit. The battle took 11 minutes and 38 seconds. I find that lately a lot of battles are faster and faster. It rarely happens that a battle 
takes between 10 and 15 minutes. I get into a lot of battles where uh, either our team rushes to the enemy and either we get slaughtered or we roll over them. And since I am kind of a cautious player, if we roll over them, it's a win where I do absolutely nothing or hardly anything. And that kind of pisses me off sometimes. Or a battle where the enemy just rushes us. And if you have a pretty bad team, then you can get slaughtered very fast and the battle can be over within 4-5 minutes. I don't like that. I like to get into a good position, see what the enemy is up to, kind of get some sneaky kills in, relocate, things like that. These rush battles, not my cup of tea. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'll be posting a few more videos in the coming days, so no more waiting for another four, five, six weeks like last time. Take care. Bye bye.